There's a general misconception that nurses are the highest paid professionals in the UK. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you other professions and jobs that pays way higher than nursing so that this can actually influence your decision on which course to study in the United Kingdom. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. I'm an international student here in the United Kingdom and I share videos on how to relocate abroad. So if this is the first time here, please click on the red subscribe button below. Trust me, it's going to be worth your time. And for my other subscribers, thank you guys for the love. Thank you for being so committed to this YouTube channel. Your likes, your comments, your uh, you click on the share button. It really means a lot to me. Thank you very much and I really appreciate you guys. In this video, I'm going to share with you jobs that um, pays higher than nursing in the United Kingdom. Now, the essence of this video basically is to um, further help influence your decision on which course of study to study in the UK because it's very important for you to um, ensure you have a long-term plan when deciding on which course to study as an international student in the United Kingdom so as to help further your long-term career goal. So I'm going to be sharing courses that actually, you know, pays higher than nursing. You know, most people feel or believe that oh, nurses are the highest paid uh, professionals in the UK and that's not true. There are other professions, other um, jobs in the UK that actually pays way higher than nursing. So I'm going to share with you some of those courses, uh, some of those um, jobs in this video. So basically, um, uh, I'm going to first share how much nurses earn in the United Kingdom and um, in the UK there's something called um, ASC, um, it's known as um, Agenda for Change. Um, this is um, the current NHS grading and paying system for NHS staff with the exception of doctors, dentists, apprentices and some senior managers. So basically um, there's like a standard on how much nurses uh, make so basically um for nurses that are probably just um for entry level nurses basically they call them band five here in the united kingdom so nurses that are probably just finished nursing school or just finished uh, uh, their program and bs in nursing and they're coming into um, the workforce or um, those coming from their home country that were employed by nhs or other you know um, nurse agency in the united kingdom now they start as band five so basically for entry level, those are people that, that are called the entry level or those with less than two years experience as nurses, they earn exactly £25,654 per year. Now, this amount basically is um, the, the amount they earn before tax. So, by the time you deduct tax, deduct NI, you deduct their pension, basically they earn about £1,600 to £1,700 per month. That's the amount um, nurses earn. So, the, the question now is are there other professionals or are there other profession in the uk that actually pays more than this the answer is yes there are other professionals that pays higher than this so when you're deciding your course check out some of this um uh, uh, uh jobs i'll be listing in this video and let that influence your decision on which course to study in the uk and as i've already said in my previous videos that you don't need to have um um, a background in a particular course where you can come to the UK for the masters. So if I can prove that you've got the capacity to, you know, take up that particular program, you will definitely be given a course. So I'll be sharing with you some of the professionals or some of the jobs in the UK that actually pays more than nothing. So the first um, um job on our list in this video is project managers. Now trust me, guys, project managers are paid a lot of money in the United Kingdom. The 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 start amount for uh, project uh, managers is actually for the five thousand pounds to eighty thousand pounds annually so if you're thinking of coming to the uk to study project management trust me that's a good decision because project managers are highly paid in the united kingdom so if you're thinking of a career path a long-term career path then you might want to really consider project management because those guys are really paid because as project managers you can manage anything it can be uh project management on it it can be on construction you know just you know have a long time go and obviously you need to also take up some um other professional uh, certifications some courses you know to boost your degree as a project manager so project managers are highly paid they're paid over between forty five thousand pounds to eighty thousand pounds annually so you might want to consider that so the second um profession on our list or second job on our list is architects like architecture those architects are well paid in the uk now so some of the uh, jobs i'll be mentioning now i'm going to be giving you the least amount they are expected to be paid like if you get a job 
as this professional, the least amount that is um, um, bounded by law that you must be paid. Now, this information is from the um, UK government website, gov.uk. So I'm sharing, some, I'm sharing the information, um, like a screenshot of this information on the website on the screen in this video. So for architects, these guys are well paid. And in England, Scotland, Wales or North, Northern Ireland, if you're an architect, like an entry-level architect, you're expected to be paid at least £28,000 annually. So that's that's for an entry level. So obviously, if you're able to go in your career, you're definitely going to be paid more. And even some um, organization pays more than £28,000. £28,000 is like the minimum that you can earn. So you can't earn less than that. So you can get a job with a company in England or probably in a city like Birmingham in England or London. You definitely will be paid twenty thousand. Probably will be paid like forty thousand or you know thirty something thousand pounds. So if you're an architect and your own country, you're thinking of how to relocate to the UK, come down to the UK for a master's program and explore these opportunities that um architects have got. So if you're thinking of a career path, you want to think of architecture. Come for the UK for a master's program in that and get a job as an architect. So the number three um, job or profession on our list is IT business analyst um system designers now these guys are well paid so if you're thinking of studying um a course on biz it business uh, analytics then trust me guys it's a good decision because the minimum amount you can earn as um an it business analyst or a system design now is twenty nine thousand two hundred and eighty pounds per annum trust me guys that's a lot of money so that's like the least amount you can earn so obviously if you get a job with some other organizations you might get paid higher than you know this particular amount so trust me guys business analysts uh business analysts in the uk are well paid especially those that are, that are high to business analysts so you might want to consider this uh, particular um, um career option so the number four um job on our list is engineering trust me guys either you're a mechanical engineer electrical engineer um software engineer whatever kind of engineer you are those guys are well paid in the united kingdom like they are well paid like engineer en engineers basically they are well paid now i've got different um uh, uh, uh minimum um amounts that have been paid on the screen you can check it out so for electrical engineers the minimum amount you can earn is twenty nine thousand six hundred pounds so obviously as i've already said you can earn higher than that you've got twenty seven thousand i've got twenty six thousand just as I've you know, displayed on my screen. So the next job on, on our list is um, uh, um, economist and statisticians. Now these guys too are actually very paid. So if you're an economist, you know one of the good things about being an economist is the fact that you're not restricted because every organization, no matter what they do, they deal with numbers. Because obviously they're into you know profits and all of that. It is deal with numbers. You can work anywhere. You can work in banking. You can work in financial control. Whatsoever way. So these guys have a lot of opportunities. If you're an economist, if you're a statistician, there's an um, there's an amazing opportunity for you in the United Kingdom. Now these guys basically they're paid at least twenty six thousand two forty pounds per annum as an entry level. So if you're just coming into the UK, you probably just finished your master's program, you're able to get a job as an economist or a statistician, the least amount you're going to be paid is £26,240. So you might really want to consider this like it's an amazing option and uh, a career, uh, a good career option for you to be honest. Now the next job on our list are uh, uh, programmers and software development professionals. Now trust me guys, aside from um, the health system, Another striving and you know growing um, sector in the United Kingdom is IT. So, regardless of what you're studying, you're studying cyber security, you're studying um, programming or software development. Trust me, guys, there are loads of opportunities for you because basically almost organizations in the United Kingdom are actually going techy. So, they will definitely need the service of um, um, uh, software developers, you know, cyber security specialists, and all of that. So, it's really a career option you might want to consider. If you're coming to the UK, you know, this is some information I wish I had before coming to the UK. I probably would have studied a different course <laughs> now. But to be honest with you guys, there are lots of opportunities for software developers, for um, um, programmers, for cyber security specialists. And these guys are paid at least 26640 Now, as I said earlier, this amount basically depends on the kind of city you get a job. Now, this amount I've, I've been mentioning, actually the purest minimum you can earn 
in the United Kingdom. So you can get a job that pays way higher than this amount. So if you, are, if you get a job in London or you get a job in Bradford, definitely you're going to be getting higher pay than someone that got a job probably in Sunderland <laughs> or Nutumbra or um, uh, what's, what's the city or uh, Middlesbrough. So it all depends on the kind of city you're able to get a job. And so for programmers and software development specialists, you earn at least £26,640 um, annually. So there's so so many, so many other professions in the United Kingdom that pays way higher. You can always go on Google, check on gov.uk, gov.uk, and check out some of those other jobs. Now this job I don't mention are the um, shortage of occupation. So there's some other jobs that are not under the shortage of occupation that pays way higher. For instance, lawyers in the United Kingdom are paid extremely high, like very high, because most lawyers in the UK can either be uh, they, they can work as solicitors or work as barristers. Lawyers in the UK are paid extremely high. So the, the least you can see um, a lawyer being paid is about fifty thousand pounds to a hundred thousand pounds. Those guys work like they, they they get paid a lot of money. And aside from the job they do, they also get gigs outside. You know, probably those that are yeah, divorce lawyer, they get personal clients. You know, there are actually lots of opportunities for lawyers in the United Kingdom. Although it might be difficult to get those job because they are not under the shortage of occupation but if you're able to land a job as a lawyer a solicitor of a barrister in the United Kingdom you are in big money like <laughs> very big money so you guys might want to consider some of this um job i just mentioned and you know channel your career path towards this job to ensure that you are earning as much as you can in the United Kingdom so this will be the end of this video guys if you find this video resourceful please don't forget to click on the like button state in the comment section the kind of videos you want me to make and i will try as much as possible to create time to make those videos for you guys and if this is the first time of coming to my YouTube channel probably this is your first video you're watching on my channel you can check out some of the videos i've got on this youtube channel and you know watch and before you do that please click on the red subscribe button to be a part of this growing family like we've grown a lot in the last few weeks and it's thanks to you to you and to you for supporting this youtube channel i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you cheers